Hey, it's uh, been a while, about a month since I last uploaded. I made a community post a couple weeks ago explaining why I was taking a break. There's a lot of factors why I took a break in the first place. One of the main reasons was that, um, actually, I don't know if there was a main reason because all of these really had a big impact on why I couldn't upload. So one of them is school. So summer ended for me a couple weeks ago. So I didn't have time to upload or think of any ideas to upload. And it's not just school. I also had my game to work on. And I was constantly, and I still am, constantly working on the next update to my game. And I do plan on releasing that update to my game either this Friday or Saturday, depending on how much I complete or if I complete everything on time. I've also been going through a lot of personal things that's been happening recently or for the past month. A lot has happened since then, so I needed a mental break from YouTube. And I'm back now. I'm doing a lot better. I'm that's that's why I haven't been uploading. Anyways, we're here to talk about Unity. So, if you don't know what Unity is, Unity is a 3D game engine where you can make mobile apps, PC apps, a console app. You can make any game that you want with Unity. And a lot of popular games use Unity, such as Rust, Hollow Knight, Untitled Goose Game, Genshin Impact, just to name a few popular games that use Unity. AAA Studios also use Unity. So just from hearing me say that, you probably know that Unity is reputable. I have also used Unity in the past to work on projects that I've never completed. I have used Unity Pass to make uh, uncompleted projects to get a feel of it and I made like I made some progress on some projects that I've been working on that I ended up scrapping. It had a good reputation, like a really good reputation until now. So what's the bad news? They, they lost pretty much all of their reputation by introducing a pay per download system. Pretty much every time someone downloads your game, you get charged for it. And what they're asking for is 20 cents every download, which is a lot. Mind you, this is only affecting people that have made over $200,000 and have over 200,000 installs on their game. Even just those people that have made that much money and have that many installs, 20 cents per install is a lot of money, especially if you have a free to play game because a lot of your players are going to be playing your game without buying anything. Like they'll hop in and just play for fun without buying anything. And just, just imagine this, right? If your game is free to play and your players aren't buying your products, then you're, you're gonna end up losing money because they're not, they're not buying anything in your game. They're just playing for free. So then you get charged for it. So, and then you end up losing money. You make a game and you put your heart and soul into it just, just for you to go bankrupt. Like it's, it's, it sucks. Higher ups at, at Unity said that only 10% of people are being affected by this. From a 2022 study, over 230,000 developers have been using Unity. That's around 23,000 developers being affected by this, which is a large percentage. It's still a large percentage. And a lot of people from what I've read are pulling out of Unity and they're either going to Unreal Engine or Godot. I've actually been trying to learn Godot. I, I've started to learn like a couple of weeks ago and it's open source. From what I've heard about Godot, it's really reputable so far and the owners of Godot are pretty good people. So a lot of people have been pulling out and either going to Unreal, Godot or some other game engine. Because of this and because of all the backlash they're receiving, Unity ended up apologizing saying, we have heard you. We apologize for the confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community, customers, and partners, and we'll be making changes to the policy. We'll share an update in a couple of days. Thank you for your honest and critical feedback. So I think it's good that they are changing their policies so it's not as bad and terrible as they are now, but they shouldn't have announced that in the first place. And a lot of employees have been telling the higher ups and warning them about the policy changes saying that it's not a good idea, which I totally understand. It's not a good idea, it's terrible. So they warned the higher ups about it. Did they listen? 
Oh, they're greedy. They want all the money. They are human Mr. Krabs. They're literally human Mr. Krabs. A couple days after the announcement of the runtime fees, Unity ended up closing several offices because of death threats. Why do you, I imagine, why would you go that low to the point where you're sending death threats to people? That is so, that is literally so childish. That is so sad. Why would you do that? That is, that is actually so pathetic. Grr, I am mad because of policy changes. I'm going to send death threats. That has to be the most childish and silliest thing ever. Oh my goodness. That is actually silly. Grr. I am so mad. I am steaming from my head right now. I am going to blow up the Unity headquarters. Grr, take them down. Like, you have to be an absolute troglodyte to even be thinking about that. So if you're one of those people harassing Unity or sending death threats, why? Why are you doing that? You guys are literally Neanderthals. Please grow, please grow up. I recommend going outside and touching that soft, succulent grass that's awaiting for you outside. So please, please open your front door, walk outside and touch some grass for the love of God. Anyways, so the developers of Terraria, which is Relogic, I knew that, have announced that they're going to donate $100,000 to Goda and FNA, which are both free game engines, which is actually really nice. It's actually super nice of them to do that. What the heck? That's all I know about the Unity situation so far. I'm going to be keeping up to date with this. So hopefully they revert all their changes. Even after they revert all their changes, they won't have the community's trust back, which is bad. That's pretty much it. See ya. Thank you to my premium subscribers, Arme, Cheese, Carl, Suki, Styx, <laughs> and uh, Super Muscles. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It really does mean a lot that you're supporting me and the content that I do. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.